All right, what's up guys? So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use dynamic zoom. The first thing is you want to select dynamic zoom. You can find it in your inspector tool. And when you open the inspector tool, you see dynamic zoom. So if you're gonna select and hit this button, you now selected dynamic zoom. You're gonna go down to this button and you're gonna hit dynamic zoom. So here you see the red line and you see the green line. So it's pretty easy if you want to zoom out of an object, you will choose the green line first. So let's say we want to zoom out from the headphones really close like this. If you're gonna hit this button again, you see we started really close from the headphones and if we play back, it zooms really nice out. So you can also swap this. If you want to zoom in, you're gonna select again this button and then you're gonna go to dynamic zoom. You're gonna hit swap. And the red line means that you will zoom in on your object, okay? Boom. Okay, so of course you can decide how much you want to zoom in. You can do this by selecting the red square and push it all the way into the headphones or push it all the way back out. But you can do more with this really cool dynamic zoom tool. So let's say you want to zoom in, but when you zoom in, you want to go a little bit to the left. If you want to make a straight line to the left, you hold your shift button on your keyboard, you grab this and you go all the way back to the left. And now see what happens. Boom, you are zooming in and also tilting to the left. But you can also tilt up, so you're gonna hit shift on your keyboard. And this is to just make a really straight line. And now, let's see what we did. Boom, we tilt and zoomed up. If you want to have more freedom and you don't want to make the, these straight lines, you can do that as well. Without the shift button, only with the mouse, you're gonna select it and you can put it anywhere you want. Uh, we want to zoom in into his eye, like really close. Boom, we can do that. Bam. Now let me explain these settings, okay? Because you have some different ease settings. You can go just straight forward without any ease in, ease out. So you just go with one straight forward movement. And that is a linear. Then we go to ease in and it starts a bit slow and then it picks up momentum, starts slow and then it will zoom in. Now we do ease out and this means it just starts on momentum, normal speed and then really slow at the end and slow. And then we have ease in and ease out. So that means it will easy start the zoom in and easy zoom out. Okay, so easy zoom in, easy zoom out. <laughs> but I never use these settings. I always keep it linear. So another cool trick that I want to show you, let's say right in the middle of the video clip, you want to zoom in and then suddenly you want to zoom out. So you can make a cut over here. And then you just simply swap this video clip with the setting dynamic zoom. You're gonna swap it to zoom out. And now you just create this really cool effect. Zoom in, zoom out, okay? All right, another really cool thing and really cool effect what you can do with the dynamic zoom tool is you can create a dolly zoom. So basically I created a shot where I zoom out with my drone. Then the next thing, I'm gonna select this clip and I'm gonna select dynamic zoom right in the inspector tool. And of course, nothing is happening because we didn't select this icon. And now I want to zoom in, so I'm gonna swap it. And now already just created really simple that dolly zoom effect, pretty cool. So basically you zoom out, but at the same time you zoom in. If I speed up the video clip even more, then you will see that effect even better. So let's go back to our zoom effect and just zoom it in even more. Just, I will do it over the top so you can see what I mean. Boom. Pretty cool effect, right? 
All right, guys, so that's it for today. If you like this tutorial, give me a thumb up, leave something in the comment, and I will check you in my next video. See ya, bye bye.